Hey guys, Windsor here and welcome to the Groove Guru podcast. And in this one, I want to talk about the power of being a beginner on the path to mastery. One of the things I'm fascinated by is that I can always continue to learn and see things in a new way, even things I have a lot of experience with. The example coming to mind that I want to use in this episode is with music and drumming and my work with Hugh Cornwell, who's best known as the frontman, songwriter and guitarist of the original Stranglers. I've been making music with Hugh for many years now and a few days ago we just completed a short concert tour of the Netherlands which was really enjoyable and during which I saw things in a whole new way and it got me reflecting. When There's something that we want to master as we play the game of life, whatever that is, from playing a musical instrument to writing, speaking, playing a sport, having better relationships, or whatever it is that comes up for you as you contemplate that. Here's something I invite you to explore. Often, when we think about mastery, we think about the details of what it is that we're doing. And to use a musical example, In my work with Hugh in recent times, more than ever, it's really been on my radar to show up as the best version of me that I can to help give the band and audience the best possible experience. And that's actually been really useful as it's led to practicing to up my level of excellence that I can show up with more and more from increased attention to detail when studying the repertoire to putting in the reps prior to showing up to the rehearsals and shows and more. Yet, something that I saw deeper on this past Holland tour was pretty cool and it pointed me to something I find really helpful and that I'm seeing now in a new and fresh way, which is the power of coming from being a beginner. As I see it, one of the biggest barriers we create when it comes to learning more is thinking that I know this already. I clearly, I already know the arrangements and my parts and my drum sounds, perfect as it is, etc. Now, that kind of reasoned confidence informed by action has its place and its uses. Yet, if I stay in my preconceived notions of what I think I know intellectually, it can get in the way of seeing something new and allowing insight to come through that can really transform what I'm creating and really take it to the next level in ways I've never seen before. Now, there's a process of mastery that I go into detail in, in my Excelsior Basics drumming course, which you can access via my site, windsordrums.com forward slash courses, which I continue to implement when mastering any skill I'm committed to, musical and otherwise. And I invite you to check out that course if it resonates with you. And for now, I want to focus on One of the key elements of the process of mastery that, as I see, really helps us level up beyond what we thought possible. And it comes when we have openness to seeing something new. In Zen, there's a term, beginner's mind, which, as I see it, points to approaching something we know a lot about as if we know nothing. Whatever it is that we're doing, we'll have thought about it to some extent. Yet, it's not until we drop our personal thinking about whatever it is we're doing to be fully in the experience with nothing on our mind. And it's then that we really start to experience what we're up to in a a whole new way and become deeply immersed in and present with whatever it is that we're doing. And as adults or bigger kids, as I like to refer to it, we like to be clever, witty, smart and sharp. And that's indeed a fun part of the game. Yet, I've come to see that just depending on the intellect alone is limiting in comparison to harmonizing it with the intelligence that we have going for us, whether we know it or not, when we show up from a deeper, clearer mind. Studying the field of quantum physics reveals that atoms are constituted of a mere 0.000001% matter or form, with the vast majority of their nature being 99.999999% 
empty space or formless energy. And if we relate that to the mind, the deeper nature of thought is not the form it takes and the momentary perceptions we have and the details that come to mind, which can be described as our ego and any of our me thoughts or thoughts about anything else, but the space in which they occur. We so often look to our ego for all the answers and the answers we seek can indeed appear through the form of thought, content. Yet, what can be so overlooked is that all of those new perceptions arise from a much deeper space beyond the content of thought to the context in which thought arises, which can be readily accessed in the moment, which, as I see it, is beyond good news. And as we start to bring our personal mind into harmony with the space of that presence within, which we could call the impersonal mind, we harmonize our mind and start to live in a way that's not just filled with ease and grace and virtually no stress. We start to live in a way that's also very productive, practical, and fulfilling. Before I learned this, I used to be so in my head about music and drumming and would analyze everything about that and what I was doing, you know, all the details excessively, extensively, and I would transcribe endlessly. And that has its place in the learning process. But I've come to know that there's more to music and drumming and life than that. And a major turning point in this direction I'm pointing to happened for me recently, which was in the event of my father's passing. Now, without being morbid here, there was a moment a few weeks ago that I stood beside my father's body in his coffin in Scotland, and I realized there was nothing I could do to change what had happened. And as I truly felt that to the core of my being, a deep acceptance and peace appeared. I saw beyond my memories of him and thoughts about what may happen in the future to a perfect experience of pure presence in the here and now. A beautiful stillness. The state when the chatter in our head, the static in the attic, <laughs> settles down. It's the space where we truly hear. And as we let go of our personal thinking, we open to the deeper space in which all the new answers are. And as I see it, that's the ultimate gateway to learning what we most need to on the path to mastering whatever it is that we do. On the recent Hugh Cornwell band tour in Holland, we just completed, even though there were obvious things to do each day and details to tend to, my experience was one of so much serenity that gave rise to so many new possibilities that I'd never before considered. Now, during the previous tour of the UK we did a few weeks earlier, we played exactly the same set, yet there was a lot on my mind related to my dad and his affairs, and I did my best to set that aside and focus on the task in hand. And as it happened, the tour turned out pretty well. Very cool, actually. And letting that settle, the noise in my head settle even further, and coming from there and participating in the Holland tour, things were really different. Feeling more of that, that intrinsic love that is a natural experience when you show up from there you know, feeling that for everything around me, even though the daily routine of being on tour was pretty much the same, everything showed up in a whole new way. And one thing that became really apparent was that, again, I had exactly the same workload, pretty much the same set, daily routine, etc. But instead of being in a, a space of occasional stress with a lot on my mind about my dad and things, I was in a space where stress was virtually non-existent. And the first thing I noticed was that in soundcheck, I was tuning my drums much faster than before. 
still to the same level of accuracy as the tour I just completed a few months prior, yet there was so much less noise in my head and nothing in the way. Then, during the shows, as I had less on my mind, I naturally found myself listening better and clearer, which is a natural consequence of having less on your mind. I was more creative and spontaneous, playing things that had never came through me before. And I also noticed that my experience of playing the shows on the whole was more enjoyable than ever. I was deeply loving every note, even though I've played some of those songs and parts in the repertoire literally hundreds of times. Now, as I showed up in that deeper space, so many new possibilities occurred. Possibilities for seeing where I can improve musically, making my monitor mix better, simplifying my parts, implementing new ideas and sections where I can be more spontaneous. And these were all things that I implemented naturally during the course of the tour and will continue to to the extent that I get to. And reflecting on it, a few realizations came up. And first, the less wedded that we are to our preconceived ideas of how things should be, the more we open to new possibility and allowing the wisdom inside to guide us better than our intellect alone can. Now, that doesn't mean not doing the thought work required beforehand, as that's indeed still part of the process of the game of life ongoingly. Yet, when the intellect alone is the only thing we rely on, that's when we miss out on the deeper potential available to us that's only ever one thought away and is always ready to inform our experience in a way that's completely new and fresh and beyond what we've previously considered. Again, it's one of ease and calmness and every time we show up from there, there's natural enjoyment, relaxed engagement, the new possibilities that emerge that continually birth newfound interest and enthusiasm too, not just with playing music, but in whatever we're doing. And as I see it, it's a beautiful space to live from that is so much more effective than relying on just the ego alone. So as an invitation, whatever it is that you're doing, I invite you to open to what will show up for you when you fully immerse yourself in the experience you're in, beyond the noise of your intellect, to that deeper space of inner quiet that's always there when you look in that direction. And as I see it, that's very much at the heart of the power of being a beginner on the path to mastery of whatever it is that you're doing. So, have fun. Be sure to subscribe to the Groove Guru podcast on Apple and Spotify if you haven't already, and I'll talk with you soon.